a good day to celebrate girl power, right? So with the World Series kicking off in a few days, I'm especially excited to introduce you to our next guest. At just 10 years old, she literally created a league of her own. Probably never heard of the movie because she's so young, but that is incredible. <laughs> and she's starting a baseball team that covers the greater Philadelphia region. And in the past four years, it's only gotten bigger. So everybody say hello to the founder of the Philadelphia Liberty All Girls Baseball Team, Grace! <laughs> So where did your love of baseball come from? So I've always grown up watching baseball with my family and we've always rooted for the Phillies. Yeah. And my love for baseball started when I was just four years old. Wow. And when I began playing t-ball actually. But at the time I was playing several other sports along with it. Mm -hmm. But out of all of them, baseball was the one that really stuck out to me the most and really resonated with my soul. Yeah. And as I grew older, I realized that baseball was where I was meant to be. So how did you start a team? Were you having a hard time like being able to be a part of a team to actually play baseball? Yes, so before Liberty was created, at the time there was no all-girls baseball team in my age division to represent the Philadelphia area. So mm -hmm. my friend and I got together and we had the idea to create a team. Yeah. So we met up with one other girl that had the same idea as us and that's when Philadelphia Liberty just took off. Right after that, we designed our uniform, our logo, and started thinking of team names. I love yeah. how it ended up, and you actually took where the crack is. Yes, and, and made it baseball stitches. Stitching, that's so cool. Creative and talented on the field. Um, so, so what were your feelings like when the team got started? So when we first stepped onto the field for the first time together, I immediately knew that Philadelphia Liberty was just more than a girls baseball team. We were family, we were sisters, and it felt absolutely amazing. Yeah, just to find like your crew, right? That's an amazing thing. You've done so well. This thing is like blown up, right? Yeah, we actually recently won the DMV tournament in Maryland. Oh my God, congratulations. That's so cool. So what have you... You're so young, like, and it's, and I think young people can do very powerful things, so not to belittle that, but you're so young, so what do you think you've, you've learned from this whole process? So I've actually learned a lot, but one of the main things that I have learned was that I want to be a inspiration for the younger female community, mm -hmm. younger female baseball community, yeah. and I really just want to let them know that baseball is a girl's sport, and they shouldn't let anyone tell them what they can or cannot do. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you like watching baseball still, right? I love watching baseball, and seeing the Phillies in the postseason this year has really been amazing. Okay, so you may know um, game one of the World Series starts Friday, right? October yes. 27th on Fox. You know that? I'm All right. about it. Well, um, we have some really cool friends um, at Major League Baseball, and they are gifting you and your family tickets to a 2023 World Series game. How does that sound? Yeah. Thank you so much. Look at those giant tickets, I love <laughs> Thank you so much. You have inspired so many young girls and boys to be able to do what they really love to do. It's incredible. I hope you have so much fun at the game. Thank you.